So tell me about this collection, which looks especially interesting. Well, this is these documents are from the collection of Peter Johnson, who was known in the 1930s as Wolfgang Josephs. He later changed his name to Peter Johnson. And we've got here two telegrams, two Red Cross telegrams sent between Wolfgang and his father Alfred during the war. So Wolfgang had come as a refugee to Britain in the 1930s. His father Alfred had remained in Germany and then had later moved to Amsterdam. By the time that these telegrams were exchanged, Britain was at war with Germany and Holland was occupied and the two could not freely communicate. The Red Cross um, facilitated contact between families separated in this way via these Red Cross telegrams. So the telegrams were sent via neutral countries. You could write about 25 words on kind of uncontroversial topics and they were a vital lifeline between separated people. In this, in this telegram here, uh, Wolfgang Joseph tells his father that he's well, has arrived home safely, he sends greetings and kisses. The photograph here shows Wolfgang Joseph and his father Alfred on holiday in about 1920 in Bavaria. We then have this very fragile item here, which is a telegram sent from Alfred Josephs to his son Wolfgang, in which he expresses a hope to see his son again. But tragically, typed onto the document, it says, last father's message received, 5th of October 1942. And Wolfgang did not hear from his father again. Um, we then have this letter, this time addressed to Peter Johnson, which Wolfgang was now known as, after the war in 1946, in which the Red Cross tell him that his father was actually deported from Westerbork to Auschwitz on the 16th of October 1942, after which no more was heard of him. So with these three items, we can see the story of this father and son, but also get an insight into the work that the Red Cross was doing during the war in terms of trying to keep separated families in contact, and also the work that they did after the war, trying to trace missing relatives.